We have not done an episode of Hot or Not in so long. So long. Yeah. But I have a very exciting car here. 2017 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. And I really want to know on our test track, IMI Motorsports, is it going to be hot or not? That's a good question. I mean, it's a car that's got a ton of great press compared right up against the M3 all the time, which, you know, the M3 wins this comparison every single time against anything anyone throws at it. So it'll be interesting to see if this car's got what it takes. Let's do it. Well, this engine is a gem. I mean, it's a 2.9 liter turbocharged V6, 505 horsepower, 443 pound-feet of torque, and the torque maxes out or comes in at 2,500 RPM. Rumor has it that this is, you know, basically a Ferrari V8 with some cylinders hacked off, some turbos added. So, so it's a, an interesting little engine. And 505 horsepower is no small number for a 2.9 liter. I guess the engine that this thing sort of seems most similar to is what you get in a GTR. And then look at this carbon fiber hood. I mean, this is just gorgeous. So there's just so many little details on this car that I think make it very, very interesting and, and very exciting when you think about, again, it lands in that category at about the same price as what you'd spend on an M3. This is a real alternative here. got to look at the whole package when it comes to setting a lap timer on a racetrack it's not just about horsepower uh, it's certainly easy to talk about but we also have some some big old uh, wheels and tires here and uh, and so these these are 19 inch wheels and they're 245s on the front 285s on the back and they're P0 courses and they're pretty darn sticky so compare these to like a Michelin Pilot uh, PS4 or, or Super Sport or something along those lines and also you notice the brakes big massive uh, big massive pie plate brakes there and they're carbon ceramics optional brakes on this car so all the performance ingredients are there for this thing to be a real M3 competitor bit of understeer, nice little bit of power oversteer coming off the corner. The bottom's a little bit there. It's a little lurchy in the way it feels. It kind of grips and unsticks several times in the corner. Of course, all the systems are off. A little bit of oversteer here. On the pipe. <laughs> Very, not a ton of feel very benign sort of feeling car. <laughs> Having fun with it though, obviously. Decent amount of grip, again, from the Pirelli P0 courses. Not, just not the most buttoned down thing. You know, it kind of slides, but it's sort of this uneven, kind of lurchy sliding that it does grabbing on those carbon ceramics at the end. <laughs> That's good fun. So what about the time? What do you think you did? I think it was pretty quick. Um, lurchiness aside, okay. you know, if you just keep your foot in it, it keeps on going. So, uh, boy, it's been a while since we've done one of these, but I want to say that it's probably somewhere in like the 103 range is what I would be guessing, maybe 104. You're, you're very close. Oh, yeah. Well, the time is actually one minute, four seconds, 0.45. Cool. Just good time. And it's almost identical to the BMW X6M, the gigantic SUV. <laughs> and it's just about three tenths off of the Ford Focus RS. Cool, cool. Well, that's, that's pretty respectable and I guess where it should land. MSRP on this Julia Quadrifoglio is just over $84,000 and the big question is is it hot or not on our test track? 
Well, driving it around uh, around the track and having driven an M3, M4, all those cars, even an M5, I'll, I'd say it's hot. And it, it does a nice job of giving you that Italian sort of custom fitted suit feel. Uh, when you're inside the car, when you're around the car, it does feel pretty special, I think, this car. And the fact that it has the performance to run with those cars, absolutely hot in my book. Well, you can go back to tflcar.com for a lot more hot on out episodes. We've done like 20 of these. That's right. So, and we're of course at our test track, IMI Motorsports, and you can go check them out at imimotorsports.com and actually bring your car here as well. Do it. Go for a lap time. <laughs>